Yeah, I do everything myself. Ah, you know what this is? You know what? Fear. Hmm. You know what fear is? What? You don't know how to take care of yourself. Hmm. Hmm. If you knew that uh, drinking from that glass, even if anything happens to me, hmm. I can make myself all right. Hmm. Then you won't have that fear. But see, the knowledge of everything is within us. Hmm. That is what we call Brahma. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. And that knowledge of everything, if you have it, you can do one thing. Freedom from ignorance is freedom from fear. So what is that knowledge? What is that Brahma? What is that? That was the biggest problem with everyone. And that is what our Indians knew. Hmm. Veda means knowledge of everything. But it is revealed knowledge. It can, you cannot talk about it. You can experience it, you can observe it inside you, but you cannot talk about it. You cannot put words to it and mm. explain it to another person. Mm. Communicate it. What is that knowledge? That knowledge is deep down within each and every one of the souls. And that is the DNA software. Mm. DNA information, hereditary information. We have been accumulating information for ages. Huh? And the cell, when it wants to time who get marnega, it will divide itself. The knowledge DNA will be split up into two cells, so that and the new cells will have the same DNA. So same information remains in the new cells, mm. but the old cell is dead. So knowledge, and you keep on accumulating knowledge by from your senses, whatever you knowledge you get. That gets added to the signal for four billion years we have been collecting knowledge and that knowledge is everything to fulfill our full potential. Huh? But how do we get it? So that all the study is to know yourself. Know, see physiology and psychology. Physics means nature. Physiology. Logy means the study of physio means nature. Physiology is the study of nature. And human physiology is the study of human nature. Mm. And psychology is the study of the psyche. Mm. Psyche was an old Greek word which meant breath. What gives you breath life? John mm. was called the soul. But originally, even an Atma meant originally the breath. Only the Brahmanas and uh, the Rishas was called the soul and self. Okay? So, the original life, that DNA information, how do you understand it? The whole study is for, was physics. Now, physics, old physics was uh, in a different way. But there, see, in that, everything is made up of mass and energy. Everything has a mass, it's made up of energy, mass is energy. Material things are have mass and occupy space, and that mass is a measure of the energy. Mm. Okay, but what is energy exactly? People don't understand because it's new material. Mm. We know energy. Today we say energy is the capacity to do work. You got to have energy if you want to do something. Huh? But what exactly? And that these old people. Energy is the source, no, it is the source of everything's and function. A hydrogen atom, its being depends upon the amount of energy it has. That's why it is different from a power atom and so on. All those, the energy content is different. And Energy is the capacity to do work, means energy cannot be measured as such. Hmm. When we would say you are measuring energy, you are measuring the work that is done, the energy. That work can be measured, but energy cannot be measured. So, so these concepts, you see, so what is energy unless you define it? So energy is the source of everything, hmm. being and function. And Aristotle said, energia is what allows a thing 
could do its job. And that energy, is, you can look at it as a potential and actual uh, kinetic energy. That potential is there in each and every one of us. And he said, the soul is energia in the way that knowledge is. Since that knowledge which gives us the, is the energy which is the principle. And that knowledge of everything is there in the soul. And knowledge is information. We collect it from the senses, the external senses, I mean senses. When energy strikes the sense receptor, stimulus energy, that gets transformed inside the body or informed in the body as information. So information is basically energy. That's why we say knowledge is power. The rate of uh, expecting energy is power. So, but how do you, so that, the old people knew about it, Aristotle, Vedas. Yeah, see, those people were philosophers, lovers of wisdom. They want to understand, not just have knowledge, but to understand what is the essence of everything, what takes the world, what makes the world go round. Huh? And so philosophers were lovers of wisdom. Whereas the Indian were called by the Greeks gymnosophist. Sophia is wisdom. Philosopher is philosophers, lover, uh, lovers of wisdom. Gymnosophist. People who acquire Sophia and wisdom by doing gymnastics. These were the Indian yogis and other Vedas uh, people. So that knowledge over to those got lost and everybody started saying soul is something different from the body and all that. And so the whole process of modern science began again. Where it was decided only observations will be counted and nothing else. The idea of literature, no authority of scriptures, no we will rely only on observed authority of no one, but only on authority of our observations. And that's how science began in the 17th century. When Newton came out, he was a natural philosopher, philosopher of nature, trying to understand nature. He brought out the, in his book, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy. So these, these are laws of motion, Newton's laws of motion. They are the mathematical principles. Now why mathematical See, to understand anything, you got to observe it, and if to observe it, you got to measure it. How do you measure anything? So he, Newton gave, you can measure everything if you know the mass, the length, and the time. With these, these three, you can measure everything. And he gave the mathematics the calculus of to give the, make the laws of motion. Huh? But they knew that these, the force and all that was coming from a living energy. There was energy inside things that was called life energy there. And but there, there along with uh, Newton, even Leibniz discovered the same calculus. And this chap, uh, Newton said, energy is equal to mass into it. Velocity. Whereas uh, Leibniz said, no, it cannot be. It has to be mass into velocity squared, mv squared, l is equal squared. Mm -hmm. So that started the whole process. What is energy then? Mm -hmm. We have to know essence. We want to know the essence of ener mm -hmm. energy because then only to understand everything. Mm -hmm. Francis Bacon was the one who gave the new method, mm -hmm. scientific method. He said, to know, understand everything in nature, mm -hmm. the mind should be cleared of its obstacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the whole purple thing is to clear the obstacles of the mind, our thinking. Ah, so once the laws are known, then you can explain things based on, see, the whole scientific process is, you make lots of observations, you start seeing patterns. 
and then you make a hypothesis that this is a law, then test that law with other observations, and if it's always satisfied, then that is a law. Take it as a law. Once that law is, if you make other observations, fit that in that law, and then you see something deeper. You make other hypotheses, test it, and this way science, our knowledge improved. Mm. And with that, what happened is that the industrial revolution started. Now you could make machines, and uh, and because of the uh, machines, I mean, uh, industrial revolution, there was lots of uh, social problems, poor, poor poverty, and this and that. So, how do all the uh, people start staying in cities and uh, mm -hmm. so many people together that creates problems? In the, so, people, uh, scientists started observing that also. See, basically, observation means empirical observation. Mm -hmm. Only science believes in empirical means observation made by the senses. Mm -hmm. Because we can collect information only by the senses. Mm -hmm. Stimulus energy strikes the sensory receptors, they convert or transform that energy into information, transform or inform that energy into information. Okay? But what is the law that governs this is not known. Till they continued physics after outside observation, they started making observation, they started, came to the conclusion. I told you about that uh, uh, fight between Leibniz and this thing that like MV and MV square. Mm. In the 19th century, the studies of energy started. So these natural philosophers started studying energy. And they they also started studying uh, us, that information, like electricity was known by then. And there was this, uh, what was his name, I don't know, one of the greatest philosophers uh, of the 19th century. He said, that if electricity attacks, I mean, is, uh, stimulates the different senses, we see it, the information stored in the body is different. Like if the electricity strikes your uh, eyes, or like if you get a blow on your eye, you see light. Mm. If you get, get it on the uh, ear, you hear sounds. So the same electricity outside strikes the different senses, eyes you will start seeing light, Yours will start saying. So he, okay? So so he gave the with that I started studying. What is the relationship between the external energy and our reaction or sensory sensory information? What is the and by the 1960, 1960, no 1860, Weber and Weber made the experiments, Fechner put that experiment to a law. Mm that there is a fixed law that governs what stimulus energy comes from outside and a body's reaction. He said that as the, I mean the experiments show that as the sensations increase linearly, the stimuli grow exponentially. If the stimulus on us grows exponentially, then the sensations will grow linearly. Okay, it's a fixed law mm. and he proposed element his book Elements of Psychophysics. Mm. That was in 1860, where he gave the law of psychophysics, sensation laws. This was started in 1830s by this uh, great physiologist. His student, Herman Helmholtz, he did the law of conservation of energy in the body from his physiological experiments. Okay? And also at that time, so so energy laws came, all the energy laws. Uh, laws are that one is the first law, of thermo, they are called the thermodynamics, because basically energy is the heat energy that we were experimenting. First law is that energy cannot be destroyed, it can be transformed. Second is the law of entropy, that as you do work, some energy gets lost, which we are not reaching. Uh, so, so these energy laws were put into place in this thing. And because of this uh, social problems, people started studying the uh, society problems, also science. But they didn't have laws in that. Uh, that was known as natural history at that time. 
studying the history of everything by making empirical observations. That was natural history. This was natural philosophy, which where the laws govern. We have some lawful relationship with which you can explain things. Okay? So now, in around 1835, the problems are that these people also wanted to become scientists. So that word science was coined in 1835 and physics. So, so the science is basically what we call science is natural history. Social science is natural history. It's observations, but there are no laws in it. You will be able to statistically predict something. Okay? With social science, you will not be able to accurately predict it. Accurately, the laws are not there as yet. That's why it's a social science. Whereas in physics, the natural philosophy is today called natural science or natural science or physics. The laws are there. You can tell, predict exactly, okay, and if you should fall down, because I mean it follows, uh, it is an example of the Newton's uh, law of that uh, two bodies have weak weight and distance. According to that, the shoe has to fall down. You can predict it as an example of a law. That is physics. Okay, so so and plus in the about 1860, what happened is this chap gave the evolution, Darwin's evolution here. Plus at that time, after uh, pasteurization and all that, they were sure that the body is only and only things that have cells are made up of cells or have cells in them have life. Mm. So it's the cells which are living in the body mm. that is what gives us the life. Mm. And once this thing was known, physics was grown that much, that's when the physiology grew. Mm. And I don't remember again somebody's uh, one of the great physiologists, he said that everything in the body has to be explained according to the laws of conservation of energy. And he proposed psychodynamics. Now you know that psycho knowledge is accumulated by sensations. There's a fixed flow between the external world and the external world. Mm -hmm. So psychodynamics he proposed. And his student was Sigmund Freud. He came up with the theory of psychodynamics. That is the aid drives come from the body cells. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they are ego mm. is what you collect the information with mm. based on the cell part, defined by the skin or the receptors of the skin mm. that knowledge you get mm. if that knowledge is wrong it becomes a super ego and that super ego is what spoils the knowledge of the head mm. that was Freud's theory but he didn't have the method of sensations. And so he devised the psychodynamic uh, psychoanalysis based on the theories which were not actually tested theories, like a dream theory and this theory. But the psychodynamic thing was there and then physiology developed mm. and energy finally we came to know what Newton did with was, are you listening? I am listening. Or I'll put it off. Okay, so you have two questions. What one is when you say observing? When you say observing, when the scientists observe, there is a observer observed effect. Okay. Which was proved in that split atom experiment when the atom changed the way it behaved when it was observed. Observe, observe, no, there's only, see, observation, mm. senses, mm. means the eyes, ears, nose, mm. skin, mm. and the same. So what you observe mm. is through these senses. Mm. Huh? Mm. If you can't, if it's not observable, then let it. Mm. So what is that spirit if it cannot be observed? Only observed reality is the reality. The rest is hypothetical. It's so, imagination. So, when we say, for example, hey, we, we are going to go, that is in the fourth. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that comes later on. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So, but first, let me tell you what. So, 
we were at uh, energy laws were there. Huh? Hmm. And so they had the laws for electric for electricity and how hmm. to understand that they had the Maxwell's equations. Hmm. Now what Newton did is use the Maxwell's equation hmm. to prove that L is equal to M V squared. So that 17th century equation is what the shaft proved in L is equal to M V squared. Hmm. Okay? That was in 1905. Uh, hmm. Then, in, as the experiment of observation experiments were increasing, mm. and they were hypoth making hypotheses, one of the hypotheses that was made, in, based on observations, of course, mm. was uh, by Rutherford, mm. finally gave the model of the atom. Mm. Huh? Mm. Atoms are sparks of energy. Mm. Okay? You call them today particles, but they are not matter, they are energy. When energy gets concentrated, it appears as photons or quantas of energy, mm. and that energy is what we are trying to do. But that is immaterial, you can't observe it, it's just you are hypothesizing it mm. that is there. Mm. So, all the laws after that mm. are not actually their physics now, mm. and physics is theoretical physics, it's mathematical principles of. Mathematical principles of matter, mm. material. Then, see, for physics, for Aristotle, physics was the study of natures. What is the nature of this? What is the nature of this? And natural motion. Mm. Whereas mathematics is used to help with her, make hypotheses mm. based on material observation, material movements, movement of matter, and study of matter. So, so that is so now what has remained is mathematics. So these equations, first of all, I mean they came up with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that you cannot when you are making the experiment of uh, uh, particles, you cannot know the exact position and the mass of a particle at the same time. It's, uh, it's, uh, see, if it's not the same time, it's not a reality. Mm. You can't say it is actually there, although it is in a sense there. And so you can use that as an equation to develop technologies. Mm. But you cannot use that to predict something what is there in nature. If you try to predict something in nature with that uh, kind of uh, those laws of mm. quantum laws, mm you will uh, arrive at the case of this, uh, what do you call that? Schrodinger's cat. Hmm. The cat is there or not there. It is both alive and not alive, you can prove that. Only when it is observed, it is a reality. Okay? Hmm. Now you understand what yes. that was? Hmm. Okay, anyway, and, and so physiology, this thing, and what Physiology, the body is made up of trillions of cells and it is a fixed in place and they need food. So, our job is to see that the food reaches or the nutrients that it require reaches them. Mm. Okay? How do we do that? So, their main job is to the cells are surrounded by fluid matrix. And from the fluid matrix, they draw in nutrition, and in the fluid matrix, they throw away all their toxins and waste. Mm -hmm. So that matrix, the fluid matrix, is constantly changing its uh, composition. So, but the cells require a constant composition. So, to make that con constant composition, maintain homeostasis, as we call it, is the job of the nervous system. So the nervous system can sense the each and every nook and cranny of the body, there are sensory nerves, which collect information from that and send it to the brain. And the brain is a huge uh, 
there is a hundred uh, billion cells, maybe hundred thousand, uh, thousand connections. That means there are uh, how many hundred thousand, uh, thousand billion uh, uh, messages yeah. traveling uh, at the mm -hmm. same time everywhere mm -hmm. in the brain. And with that, they make what do what part is required where, what material is required where. The brain keeps on mm -hmm. sending mm -hmm. message. If you require food in the body, mm. the nutrients are not there in the body, then you have to go out in the world and get it. And to get things from outside, you have to be safe. Mm. I mean, there are dangers and predators out in the environment. So when you go collect food outside, or what you need for the, for the cells outside, you have to keep yourself, to keep yourself safe, you have the consciousness, mind, what you are, which eyes and ears and nose, you can know the thing before the danger happens, so you can keep yourself safe. So that knowledge gets collected in the brain. What knowledge comes from our eyes and ears and nose when we are conscious, that is a consciousness knowledge which comes into the, which is stored in the brain as explicit memory. Now there are two types of memory systems in the brain. One is for the external world knowledge and one is for the knowledge that comes from within the body. Senses, okay? And that is the implicit knowledge. That implicit knowledge is there in everything. Like uh, whenever you uh, hear some whatever happens outside, your skin also feels a pleasure and pain or heat and cold or those, but that you don't know explicitly. It is there, but you can't, it's not clear, very clear. And that learning also happens. So the learning and pain happens with your skin. They are the nociceptors. And they are very powerful, immediately they will put you into action. And that's what, where motivation comes from. It comes, this is not, it comes from that thing. Whereas this other learning is what we know what we can consciously think about and make use of. But that learning and the main learning that's stored in the cells is the body learning. Mm. The DNA stores the information. Information can only be stored in the DNA. And the DNA are codes for making proteins. Okay? Mm. There are uh, three letter words, 64. All of them are amino acids. Mm. So they just, how the amino acids should uh, collect together and form a protein. And every protein has a fixed job. So it will do the job, break up. And so the amino acids are the building blocks of it. They convert the information and that's how the whole, but how do you get to that knowledge? That was, you have to know everything is not just the outside knowledge, which is consciousness knowledge. The main knowledge you have to know also is the knowledge of the what is all is going on inside the body. That can be only got by the sense of touch. And that was the way of Vedas. Ved means senses. Dev also originally meant senses. Enthusiastic. Dev Theos. Enthusiastic. Totally with the senses. Enthusiastic. The same. Well, later on it became Ved and then it became some Ved in India. But that knowledge, knowledge is all gathered from the senses with that knowledge of the external world you know. That is some way. Uh, external is a That is called some gya. So consciousness memory in Indian memory is called some gya. And this tangible knowledge, pratyaksha, prakrutic natural knowledge is called gyan. So this pragya, how do we know? How do you know this? That is the job of the Gita. Now, Vedanta, this is what which came down with the, all those people. That knowledge is bodily knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you have that knowledge, then you, you can work without the consciousness of knowledge disturbing that knowledge. Mm -hmm. That knowledge inside. We are born with that knowledge. Okay? Which is there in the DNA software. That is the soul. We have collected that information on four billion years. That has the knowledge of everything to make us reach our potential.
to self that is self actualization. Mm. But it gets obscure by wrong theory of also. Mm. And to do that, that explanation is best in the Bhagavad Gita. Mm. In the first line he says, Krishna is, tells Arjun, you are lamenting for those whom you should not lament. Mm. And you talk words of Rakya wisdom. Buddhas, knowers, never lament for that which dies, or that which is dying, or that which does not die. That all that which leaves you, or that which does not leave you. That means the good things leave you, you will not love it. The bad things come to you, you will not love it. If anybody dies, you will not love it. Feel bad about it. If anybody the external world, you know why? It tells him in the next line. That was two eleven Gita. Mm. And the next verse, 